is Regina Odera, your favorite interior solution provider at looking for it, Cacdot. Yes. Today I'm going to be sharing tips with you to help you create an office space in your home. As we all know, the quarantine plus the I don't like to pronounce her name because she feels she might be feeling very special when we call her name. So on this channel, we'll just pause whenever we want to mention. But anyway, yeah, due to the coronavirus, most of us have been forced to work from home and then we have been basically boxed up in that space <laughs> that you always get to run away from every day. Probably wake up by five, six, seven, you drive, get into traffic, get to work, rush back again, get into traffic, and you really haven't really noticed things about it. And I'm very sure right now, most of you have started picking up things and noticing things probably you want to get rid of or change. So talking about that, you're also forced to work in that space. So why don't you convert or create or modify or what other word can we use or remodel to get an office space in your home? The first tip I'm going to share with you is for you to access the size of your space. It's very important to know the size of the room you have or the space you have. If it's a small space, this will be able to enable you the type of furniture piece you can put in the space and where you can put the furniture piece. Very certain about the size of your space helps you in regards to finding the best functional pieces or units you can you can place in the space, which piece, which will serve for an office use in that space. For you to define the color palette. I know I've talked about color palettes in a couple of videos back. In two videos, in two other videos back, it's usually a very strong point for me as an interior designer. I always love to pick up a very amazing color palette for my clients. The same thing goes to setting up an office space in your home. In regards to the color palettes, I always advise you have a strong primary color, a beautiful secondary color, and then amazing accent colors you can use in this space. For example, I can have a white um, color as my white color as a primary color and then I can choose to stick to a gray color for my secondary color and then my accent colors could be greens, blues, um, purples, some sort of cool colors combined together or even singular points. It's for you to know your game. You know, some people might just believe that since it's already uh, an existing space in your home and it's in your house, literally, you don't need a thing. But I do not advise that. No. <laughs> I would always advise for you to also go with a thing. Whenever you're setting any sort of space, be it the office space in your home, your kitchen space, or even your bathroom space, it's always very important. Know your thing, find out your interior design style, and then work with it. If you really want to know more about that, leave the about the theme, finding out your theme and the interior design style I mean, sorry for saying that. I would like you to leave a comment in the comment section to ask me questions and basically just indicate that you're interested, interested in this and then I'll put up a video about the different interior design styles and then finding your theme. So this will be an amazing guideline for you when next you're trying to create what's up. So my fourth tip is for you to make textures. So I know I'm speaking too much English. Let me break it down for you. So when I say mixed textures, textures in regards to the fabric selection, material selection uh, of whatever units or pieces you have there. I'll take one example. So since it's an office space, we're trying to set up in a space or in an existing room, I will pick a swivel chair or I'll pick a single chair that should serve as a very comfortable workstation that you should sit on when you're there. So you could pick a swivel chair that probably has, um, yeah, has chrome legs. That's um, a material that was used to make it. And then you can reupholster a swivel chair that you bought from a regular linen fabric they used to upholster it to probably leather or suede or velvet or some other kind of woven woven natural material that will give it a more elegant look and it would give you a vibe of okay you know that looks aesthetically pleasing to 
the eyes. <laughs> and my fifth tip is for you to section out the space. So when I say section out the space, a lot of people tend to believe that it's already pretty much obvious. But well, yeah, they believe it's a lot. It's obvious because I mean, it's a table or a desk right there with a chair. But it's a lot pleasing, especially to you. And there's something, yeah, there's something it does. It kind of tweaks your brain. So, you know, once you just get to that section where you're working, on, so you're done with whatever work or duties you have to do before you get out of that section. And one tip I would love for you to try out in your space while you're setting up your office space is for you to get an area rug. I can't begin to drag that with anyone. Like, get an amazing sized area rug that will fit both the swivel chair, whatever chair single seater that you have there and then the work desk that will be there then you could also you could also have um a um a workstation drawer or a console work workstation um console that probably come along with your table or probably a stand that you could put your printer so all these units or pieces that you might have that should fit that work area should all sit on that area rug i'm going to get a picture to put up for you to have a look and see what i'm talking about and see how more um, pleasing it is to you visually while you're looking at it i'm not not talk of you when you now put it in your space ah, no, damn, it's going to be so good final tip will still be in regards to colors while you're sectioning sectioning it out sorry you can work with a cool color palette or a warm color palette but i think i really want to do a full video on the cool and warm color palette thing because one i live in west africa nigeria where it's literally summer all year apart from where we have rainy season and then the hammer time so i'll teach and i'll be explaining ideas in regards to picking out a color palette if you're interested please do leave an indication in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe and subscribe and like the video i basically shared with you tiny details of a very big picture of what your space should look like at the end when you're done setting up the office space in your home